Moving on to other stories, for the first time in the United Nations history, candidates running for the Secretary General post gather for a televised debate. The topic, who is best suited to fill Ban Ki-moon's shoes. Park Ji-won files this report from New York. It's a historic event that has never taken place in the UN's roughly seven-decade-long history. The UN invited the candidates running for the secretary general position to the UN headquarters General Assembly Hall on Tuesday evening to hold its first ever live internationally televised debate. Addressing a packed hall of diplomats, UN officials and journalists, as well as global viewers from around the world, the hopefuls laid out their case for why they should lead the UN at a time of multiple political, economic and humanitarian crises. Audience members fired tough questions at the candidates on diverse topics ranging from climate change, UN Security Council reforms to regional conflicts. The debate was live broadcast through UN Web TV and Al Jazeera. This event follows a series of two-hour dialogue sessions separately held with each candidate over the past few months. The UN says they are part of efforts to make the secretary general selection process more transparent and open to the world. In the past, secretary generals were really decided and chosen behind closed doors, and no one really knew who it was going to be until a name uh, was finally emerged. Uh, but the president of the General Assembly, uh, Mons Lukatov, he wanted to make this much more open and transparent. The current UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon has led the UN for almost 10 years, but his second and final term will finish at the end of this year. Currently, 12 people have officially registered for the top UN job, and sources here say the 15-member Security Council, which has the authority to select the next Secretary General, will start closely examining the candidates later this month. Park Ji-won, Arirang News, New York.